1995 BMW M3. This is uh, a street sleeper. You know, uh, sleeper. You notice it's a uh, faded paint job, nothing fancy. Check a look at the inside. The panels are nothing more than thin pieces of plastic, minimum weight. Everything has been stripped out. So this is just a fun toy car, but it still has air conditioning. And as you can see, it's set up for handling, not for looks. Well, so here's what I found. No visible signs of leakage, but you got 10 PSI out basically on the low side and uh, 90 on the high side. So, are we restricted expansion valve or are we low on refrigerant? Uh, let's see. I feel about 80 degrees. I put my finger on the suction line. I feel 80 degrees. I'm just saying that, you know, I'm giving you a, a rough estimate. I put my fingers on the li uh, liquid line and it feels like it's 70 degrees. 68 degrees, not sure. I'm using the back of my fingers to uncalibrate it. But the liquid line is colder than the suction line. So let me show you the smell of vision. Okay, we're gonna do touch of vision. So here's a probe. Let's see if I could get this on the suction line somewhere. Suction line, suction line. Come on, give me some suction line. Well, we're all eight up here on this stuff anyway, so let's pull down this insulation. In there. No fun. Okay, so now I'm on the suction line. Now let's get a hold of the liquid line. So now I'll get the liquid line. And here we go, liquid line, see if I can get on right here. Sorry, there's no light because I'm using my iPad again. So that means the sound is going to be bad and the video is going to even be worse. All right. So here's our suction line, 90 degrees. I said 80 degrees. That was a whole 10 degrees off. That's really bad. But look at our liquid line. At that point, at least 85 degrees. So our liquid line is cooler than our suction line. Why is that? All right, I'm gonna leave this video right here. You'll see the next video. Maybe that'll give you the answer. Why is the liquid line, it's coming out of the receiver dryer, not the inlet, the outlet. It's colder than the suction line. Okay, let's take a look at that again. There's the suction line, 90 degrees. There's the liquid line, 84 degrees. Let me see if I could get a hold of the liquid line or the high pressure vapor line uh, oh yes yes I can maybe no that's liquid line I'm trying to look for the inlet there we go the I can get a hold of the high pressure vapor line coming from the compressor going into the condenser I could get you that temperature too because it is right where, 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 where are we at? Where's my god damn, I can't see that. Ah, there we go. So I could get right here. This one right here, that is the hot uh, vapor pressure coming out of the condenser. So let's see what the temperature of the condenser is. So now we got around 150 degrees it'll be. That's the vapor temperature of the discharge of the compressor. 150 degrees. Our ambient temperature at this point, just floating right here with the thermistor, our ambient temperature, 77 degrees. 152, 153. The longer I like, because I just started this up. So the compressor is getting hotter and hotter and hotter. Friction and lack of cooling back to the compressor. And this compressor will just keep on getting hotter. 
like a Chernobyl is having a nuclear meltdown. It just keeps on going up. And the hotter the ambient temperature, the hotter that compressor discharge gets. 155. So I'm going to perform a recovery and a recharge, and let's come back and see what happens.